okay let's get started so in this video I want to go over how you can uh, make expenses billable to your um, to your clients customers or projects that you're working on so let's go to vendors there's two ways you can do that if you already have the expense recorded in the books uh, just go to vendors and go to the vendor you paid let's say um, this ten thousand dollar check we want to make it billable so if you hadn't already we'll check it and we can write a, uh, a memo description um, I don't know purchase wood and cement anything whatever the purchase was for hit save and close yes Okay, so now um, the next step is since we made it available, we want to make an invoice. So we go to customer center. And we're going to bill 789. Create new invoice. And the moment you click, it's going to ask you uh, the customer job you selected has outstanding billable time and or cost. Do you want to select? The outstanding billable time and cost to add to this invoice or exclude. We're going to include it. So, yeah. And now we have tabs. So you see here, there's three. So we're going to make this one billable to, with this invoice. And if I want to add a markup, let's say add a 20% markup. And you can create an account for specifically markup or leave it towards construction income. So if you want to create an account, put markup income. You set it up. Income, markup, income, same close. And now all of your markup's gonna go there. Let's see. Uh, okay. And that's your invoice. You would fill out the PO number, terms, rep, etc. I'm not going to get into all that detail. I just want to show you how to make your transactions billable and how to pull them up in your invoice. Save and close. Okay, save and close, and we're good. Okay, so this is how you make your transactions billable, and you would add them to your invoice. If you like this video, if it was helpful. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.